What's going on, adventurers? We are here at the villa bed and breakfast on this beautiful sunny day. And this place, guys, is absolutely amazing. Of course, I got Patty from the G team right here with me. Hey, everybody. So, so far, how has your experience been, Patty? Oh my gosh, awesome. The service, the, all the hospitality we're getting from the owners of this place. I mean, breakfast this morning. Um, it's a really awesome experience, but the activity we got last night was unbelievable. I yeah, mean, I, I still can't believe unbelievable. it. Unbelievable. Still no. can't believe it. Back to back to back. Nothing bad, just a lot of lights flickering on and off. <sighs> the lamp moved. Uh, it's an unbelievable experience. You definitely got to come here and experience it. You got to come here and check it out. Tell them that we sent you. They will give you 25% off, which is a real good deal. Oh, great, great deal. Good deal. Yeah. And trust me, you guys will totally thank us later because yeah. it is uh, just, I don't even know what other word to use. It's an amazing experience. It really is. You're definitely going to feel like royalty when you're here. I mean, there's actually a throne when you walk in the front door. You know, just in case you don't already feel like royalty, you can sit in the throne for a few minutes. Yeah, it'll get you there real quick. I mean, yeah, this is definitely a castle. Very, very cool. They got a bar right in front of you there. And then just be sure if you do stay here, take the time to appreciate every detail because there's just so much detail that went into this place. Now, most of it is original and everything that they did bring in to add to it is just the icing on the cake. It's just so fantastic here. I really can't stress it enough. I love the coat of arms over here and the lamps. It just adds so much character to the house. And apparently those are actually hardwired and, you know, screwed into the floor. Like they're original. They were here when the house was built back in 1929. These windows over here on the steps as you're going up the staircase, phenomenal. I mean, the architecture in this place, I can't imagine, I really would like to know how long it took them to build this house. I mean, I would think years back then. So the crown molding here apparently is all plaster. We were actually thinking it was wood and uh, they were telling us actually it's all plaster so I just cannot imagine the amount of time it took to put that in and it's just gorgeous this is the lovely living room it is absolutely stunning you can see they have the beams in the ceiling the awesome fireplace very cozy in there at night chandeliers are stunning it's just a great room to chill out and you know just relax a little bit and talk with your friends family, whoever happens to be here with you. Look at this amazing dining room. Some fresh coffee brewing over there. Earlier when we were sitting here at the table talking about the history of the house, the owners were actually telling us about the two main spirits that reside here. And the chandelier was flickering, which was pretty cool. So we know that they want to communicate with us tonight. And we're super excited about that. This is Jimmy and he owns this beautiful haunted bed and breakfast. Hi Jimmy, how you doing? Hello. The Villa Bed and Breakfast in Daytona Beach, Florida guys. It is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. Very welcoming. They are very welcoming. They have been- <gasps> Oh! Yes. Okay, I don't want to turn my camera around completely because I have it directly on Jimmy right now, but there's a light I caught over it. here that keeps going on and off. It's flickering. That's the most I've seen it flicker. So that far. was, yeah, that like completely went out for a second. Yeah, it completely went out for a second. So Jimmy and the other owner, John, has been very accommodating to us. They have us set up in an absolute beautiful room upstairs. Uh, that is also very haunted, but I'm gonna have Jimmy tell you guys a little bit about. Oh, there it goes again. It's that was this out. one. <laughs> but yeah, the house was built in 1929 by Donnelly, uh, Mr. McDonnelly. And um, he passed away. He was here three months and then moved up north. He passed away, never lived here after that. So there's a couple spirits here that everybody, all the past tenants, have told us about. So. 
And there you go. We had a friend come over who's written a few books, and she told us about there's a, a lady here that we didn't recognize. We know there's the male here, but there's a lady in a white dress on the stairs who hangs out here. Maybe not even four days ago, the little girl says, who's the lady in the white dress with red hair? And there was nobody on the stairs. And then the orbs, we see orbs, there's orbs that we, we filmed. Patty, did you just touch the lamp? No, I did not. Why? Because it was moving. Was it really? Yes. It did. It just, it just there, there's stuff going on all around us. I have my, <laughs> I have my extra camera on right here, guys. I'm I, filming this light over here that goes on and off constantly. Yeah, you know how much energy is right here right now because I'm... You feel a lot of energy right now? That just moved behind you. Nobody was by it. No, uh-uh. Absolutely not. This yeah. place is amazing. There's so much stuff going on around us, guys. We can't even keep up with it. I mean, we don't even know which way to turn the camera. I know. I'm trying to talk to Jimmy so he can tell some stories, and we got stuff going on around us. So I do have another camera going. Um, so the little girl saw the she woman in white. So yeah, we, we call her Florence, uh, which we just make up names. We have Florence and Fred, we call. But um, yeah, Fred we knew was here, and then we heard Florence was mad at us because we didn't recognize her, and that's when people have seen her. Somebody else says, there's a lady in a white dress with red hair. <laughs> the red pod, the red pod. Oh, the red pod. Oh. Yep. Okay, the red pod is going off right now. Tell the story about the woman that was in the room up there for the one, one more staying in for six oh, months. Oh, she was sitting there for six months. She had finally had to unplug her lamps in her bedroom because she was sitting there and one night they kept turning off and on. She turned it off, it would come on, turn it off, it would come on. There was no short and then I just rewired the lamps. So she finally uh, unplugged it. The hot tub will go on upstairs on the balcony, which is the same thing. The lamps go off and on in that room in the king suite, which is where you all okay. are. And that go, the lamps will go off and on. That's more of an active room. That door slams behind me a lot, and the door, all the windows we keep shut in the house because we have no central air. Now, yeah. how many rooms are here? There's um, four upstairs with a mask, all en suites, an apartment above the garage. Then there's a two bedroom apartment off the, the servants' quarters off the kitchen, which is my little apartment. And then there's a four bedroom guest house on the property. Okay. That was filmed in 2005. There's been no activity over there. I think you're pleased. I preserved the character. I mean, you can tell you guys put a lot of love into this place. Yes. You know, you really can. If you guys want to stay here at the Villa B and B, be sure to contact them. We will leave their contact information in the description, and be sure to tell them that Raptor Adventures or the G Team Paranormal sent you, and they will hook you guys up. They're going to give you 25% off which is an amazing deal. So thanks for doing that too. We appreciate that. No problem. You guys are wonderful. And I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you. Oh, so thank much. you. We appreciate that. We, we feel honored to, to have been invited oh, here. It's, it's been great. And I can honestly say we are, we're going to be back. Oh. <laughs> yes. For sure. Yeah, we are definitely <laughs> coming back. I want to bring my daughter here. It's moving. It's not moving. It's noise. Oh, that's the heat sensor. Then there's something near it. Look at all the lights. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, you want to hear it? Wow, guys. Okay, that light right there. Okay. I have to be honest, this is the probably the most active place that I've ever been to. Yeah. And I don't feel like afraid that I feel just like right. No, it's warm. Yeah. It is. It's warm it's and warm. welcoming. And it's it's like they want to communicate. Like you said, they're not they're not bad. They're no, nice. I don't they just wanna yes. I mean I've woken up on this couch right here where I've had the pillows where I've laid on the couch and the pillows are all off and I'm against the back and I'm like <laughs> and it's like somebody's like in front of me. I'm like, okay, well, I don't care. It was <laughs> I slept good. <laughs> These are awesome down couches, but yeah, it's. it's oh, there it goes again. You see that? See, wow. that was a compliment. Thank you. Yep, they're saying thank you. <laughs> so we sat down for a minute at the table, guys, and he just brought out our hors d'oeuvres. We're going to show you that in a minute. Uh, we noticed, Patty actually noticed that this lamp was moving and it still is we just wanted to show you that wow that is so cool and uh, he said actually that he has never noticed that happening before so i think i think they wanted to talk to us huh patty oh, my God. patty is sinking her teeth into some deliciousness over here mm. pretty good wow yeah. complete with a glass of pinot grigio 
Wow. We're getting spoiled tonight. We are getting spoiled. <laughs> but there's gonna be some awesome videos for you guys. And I hope a lot of you do decide to come visit the Villa B&B &B because it really is an amazing experience. Oh, oh, what? We're reaching out to the spirit world. I've got a glass of wine as a trigger object and I'm gonna set it right here after I take a sip of it. <laughs> you gotta prime it. Would Whoa. you like that? What just I happened? I saw that. that. I don't know my glasses on. So the lights are going it's crazy going in the other room. They've been going crazy for a while. Um, but right now I have the REM pod right here. I have my K2 meter right there. I think you can probably see it all on the camera. Jen is going to turn the Necrophonic app on right now. We're going to try to find out what this woman's real name is and the man that's here as well. I just got hot, real hot. Look at too. me, I'm like yeah. sweating. I got hot too. It's weird. I'm telling you, it's something to do with her. Yeah. I, I feel it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn on the Necrophonic now, guys. <coughs> leave. Leave? Please leave. <coughs> Did you hear it? I said, please leave. Actually, we, we would like to stay and we'd like to talk to you. What is your name? Heat. 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 We're hot. We're like really hot. Sweating. Why are we so hot right now? Uh, hot. Burn. Florence, are you here with us? I heard that. It was like a, it sounded very yeah. distant, but. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. Florence, can you move through those lights right there? out to the spirit world right now we know that there's some spirits here in this room there's some spirits here in this entire place uh, we've seen your whoa that's going crazy we have seen plenty of proof tonight we're hearing it right now okay. um, this is amazing I know that you probably have some things you want to say so come over here and communicate with us through this spirit box please we'd love it if you would come talk to yes, us yes please come talk to us <laughs> Hello there, who's with us? Who's making the rim go off? Paul. There you go. Paul. And of course we're sitting here in the... Oh baby. my god. <laughs> it's getting dark. Listen, we get, oh my god. Jen, I don't. I can't believe this. I can't, can't believe this, this either. Shit. 
guys that was pretty insane the spirit box session was very productive um i mean the lights were going off and on we had a freaking door opening the rem pod was going absolutely crazy um and patty tried to make some voice recordings with her tape recorder and i don't know it sounded like she was slowed down by like what three times or something yeah oh my gosh the freaking light is on in here. What? <gasps> it was dimming. So this is the Marco Polo room. All original windows and everything. Check it out. So you could request this room. If you come here, this is a nice room too. If you can't get into the one that we're in. And down the hall here is the Queen Isabella room. The Queen Isabella room. Let's go in here real quick. I feel like there's something in here. That's an interesting smell in here, doesn't it? It does. This is the one we were in earlier, guys, when we were doing the live stream, and this oh, yeah, flew this off one. of the desk, yeah. or the dresser. This fell off onto the, uh, the floor. I thought I did, too. Hello? Who's in here with us? I can't believe this, guys. This is crazy. These lights 
are going off and on like nobody's business. I've never experienced this level of haunting ever. I keep feeling like somebody's watching me right now. Something just happened, guys. I, I totally had my camera off. Patty caught it. I don't know what exactly it was. Is either a light that was flickering. Or it could have possibly been this one. It could have been. Um, it's been. They've been dimming and getting brighter all night. Yeah. So all night. It's all entirely night possible. So, so what do you think of this, Patty? I'm just. I think it's extremely haunted, but I don't get anything bad. <laughs> That's an understatement. I, I know, I know. I, I, yeah, I usually say extremely haunted, but this place is extremely, extremely haunted. I mean, very intelligent spirits here. Oh, for sure. Yeah, very intelligent spirits. They know what they're doing. They know how to do it. Um, it it's pretty amazing. And um, I'm just, I think this is one of the most active places that I've ever been to. There it goes. There it goes again. Look. That light just got really bright. Can you dim it again for us? Can you dim the light for us again, please? If, if you are Florence. Oh, the flickering. Mm-hmm. If you're Fred, can you dim the lights? I just want to point out that the chandelier is totally rock and it has dragons on it. And I think that's one of the coolest chandeliers I've ever seen. It really is. It is very cool. I have a feeling that one of the spirits that's here is definitely the, the original owner, Bartholomew. Yeah, he came through on the spirit box a couple yeah. times while we were doing Patty's live stream, yeah. so. Bartholomew, if, if you are here, can you dim those lights and let us know it's you, please? I mean, it wouldn't be surprised if you're not here. I mean, you built this place and you only stayed here a year. And it is stunning. It really is very stunning. You did a great job. It's absolutely beautiful. Couldn't have built it better myself. All the fine detail. I mean, look at that. It's just amazing. The molding in here is there. just exquisite. It really is. You did a beautiful job on this place. Um, the owner here now even had um, an idea that maybe even some of the workers that helped build this place and make it so beautiful back then are attached to this place because this is, this is such a beautiful place. Is that, is that true? If so, can you dim the lights? Oh, oh snap. My God. Guys, we were in our room and we heard some footsteps out here. We come out of our room to see what's going on and there is music playing. So we're gonna go check and see what is going on. It's always right here it stops recording on you. Where's it coming from? Where's it coming from? Okay guys, it is the very next day. We woke up to a delicious aroma and came downstairs. Oh my goodness, and this is just the beginning. He is working on some bacon and eggs in the kitchen for us. Now that's not usual. He's giving us the royal treatment. Yes. They normally do a continental breakfast here, but they're hooking us up. So awesome. huge shout out to John and Jimmy. Yes. This place is just so amazing, guys. So much more to show you here. But right now, it's time to eat. And it's time to eat. 
it's moving. Check it out, guys. The REM pod just came on and that lamp is still moving. Wow, it's going crazy. Wow, yes it is. So guys, right here where that yellow flag is, that is the master suite. That's where we're actually staying currently. And this little balcony over here, that is the balcony right outside of our room. And there is a double hot tub out there, which is pretty awesome. We didn't get the chance to use it, but um, like I said previously, we will definitely be back. And next time we're gonna bring some peeps with us. This is the amazing courtyard and pool. We did not even have the chance to get in the pool as beautiful and relaxing as it looks. We just, we've been so busy filming and taking pictures and uh, live streaming and all that good stuff. But like I said, we're coming back. And when we do, you better believe we are gonna be taking a lot of time to enjoy the pool because it looks so welcoming. Um, they did say it's very warm. I think they said it was like about 90 degrees. So be prepared to step into a big bathtub. They have a beautiful fountain here in the courtyard. Plenty of places to sit and lounge. Right up there is the master suite where we were staying. I believe that's the window to the bathroom and the closet. They have a huge closet where you can put all of your stuff. There are the beautiful windows right there, those three that go up the grand staircase. So one more look at this gorgeous, gorgeous pool. And I have to say, I really love all the statues. They have these beautiful lion and tiger statues. Just take you guys back into the house with me. We're a little sad right now because it has come time for us to leave this beautiful yeah. oasis of happiness and seclusion. <laughs> uh, truthfully, I mean, this place is so amazing. We got so much activity here, more than I've ever seen. I mean, Patty's seen it before. Yeah. But, you know, this was the first time for me, so it was really incredible. And honestly, we can't say enough about how amazing and hospitable uh, the hosts, John and Jimmy are. I mean, they're just, they're wonderful. So. It's safe to say we're going to be back soon Definitely. and we're going to say it again. Be sure to tell them that Raptor Adventures and the G team sent you because they're going to give you guys 25% off and that is such a great deal. So with that being said, guys, we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure.